in the war in heaven the devil advocated, security at the sacrifice of our freedom. They who would give up an essential liberty for temporary security, deserve neither liberty or security. We can't be so fixated on our desire to preserve the rights of ordinary Americans. Those who subscribe to this totalitarian philosophy stop at nothing to achieve their ends, force, trickery, lies, broken promises, mayhem, and individual and mass murder. The great mass of people will more easily fall victim to a big lie than to a small one. See, in my line of work you got to keep repeating things over and over and over again for the truth to sink in, to kind of catapult the propaganda. We are in the midst of the greatest exhibition of propaganda that the world has ever seen. Misrepresentation, false propaganda, innuendos soon sprout into poisonous weeds, and before long the people find themselves victims of a pollution that has robbed them of their individual liberty and enslaved them to a group of political gangsters. Their press and other propaganda media are therefore constantly selling the principles of centralized or federal control of farms, railroads, electric power, schools, steel, maritime shipping, and many other aspects of the economy but always in the name of public welfare. Only the mob and the elite can be attracted by the momentum of totalitarianism itself the masses have to be won by propaganda. I myself was to experience how easily one is taken in by lying and censored press and radio in a totalitarian state. A steady diet over the years of falsifications and distortions made a certain impression on one's mind and often misled it. A newspaper has three things to do. One is to amuse, another is to entertain and the rest is to mislead. As people get their opinions so largely from the newspapers they read, but the press is not free, the newspapers are owned by rich men. Whether it is television, radio, newspapers, magazines, books or the internet, a few giant conglomerates are determining what we see, hear and read. I believe Hollywood is the most effective and disastrous propaganda factory there has ever been in the history of human beings. Something terrible happened to us on September 11th, and that gives us the right to interpret all future events in a way that everyone else in the world must agree with us. September 11th does not justify ignoring the Constitution by creating broad new federal police powers the rule of law is worthless if we ignore it whenever crises occur. A dictatorship would be a heck of a lot easier, there's no question about it. The same political tenets and philosophies that have brought war and terror in other parts of the world are at work amongst us in America the proponents thereof are seeking to undermine our own form of government and to set up instead one of the forms of dictatorship now flourishing in other lands. No member of this church can be true to his faith, nor can any American be loyal to his trust, while lending aid, encouragement or sympathy to any of these false philosophies, for if he does they will prove snares to his feet. We do not believe in eternal morality, and we expose all the fables about morality. We must win the common people in every corner this will be obtained chiefly by means of the schools, and by open, hearty behavior, show, condescension, popularity and toleration of their prejudices, which we shall at leisure root out and dispel. The communists have not invented the intervention of society and education. They do but seek to alter the character of that intervention. From the fifth grade through the fourth year of college, our young people are being indoctrinated with a Marxist philosophy, and I am fearful of the harvest. Your child belongs to us already, what are you? You will pass on your descendants, however, now stand in the new camp. In a short time they will know nothing else but this new community. Time is everything, man is nothing he is at the most time's carcass. If we open our eyes we will clearly see who they are, and what they are doing. It's what we do next that matters. Our stand for freedom is a most basic part of our religion. This stand helped get us to this earth, and our reaction to freedom in this life will have eternal consequences. Man has many duties, but he has no excuse that can compensate for his loss of liberty. I am convinced that the people generally of the United States have not studied the Constitution. Many of them have never read it, and some know nothing concerning what it is all about. The greatest security of the people, against the encroachments and usurpations of their superiors, is to keep the spirit of liberty constantly awake. If ever time should come, when vain and aspiring men shall possess the highest seats in government, our country will stand in need of its experienced patriots to prevent its ruin. Come, 
All ye lovers of liberty, break the oppressor's rod, loose the iron grasp of mobocracy, and bring the condign punishment to all those who trample underfoot the glorious constitution and the people's rights. I do not lift my voice against the great and glorious government guaranteed to every citizen by the Constitution, but against those corrupt administrators who trample the Constitution and just laws under their feet. If our Constitution, our laws, and the fundamental principles of our government are trampled underfoot, it would seem high time that all honorable men should stand up in defense of liberty and the rights of men. We should stand with a front like flint against every spirit or species of contempt or disrespect for the constitution of our country and the constitutional laws of our land. The only way to keep our freedom is to work at it. Not some of us. All of us. Not some of the time, but all of the time. Therefore, as against the tyranny and despotism of totalitarianism and dictatorships, let us willingly and heroically defend the constitution of this land. If America is destroyed, it may be by Americans who salute the flag, sing the national anthem, march in patriotic parades. But Americans who fail to comprehend what is required to keep our country strong and free Americans who have been lulled away into a false security. If destruction be our lot, we must ourselves be its author and finisher. As a nation of freemen, we must live through all time or die by suicide. If ye love wealth better than liberty, the tranquility of servitude then the animated contest of freedom go home from us in peace. We ask not your counsels or arms. Crouch down and lick the hands which feed you. May your chains sit lightly upon you, and may posterity forget that you are our countrymen. The tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. The people are the rightful masters of both congresses, and courts not to overthrow the constitution, but to overthrow the men who pervert it. The time is now near at hand which must probably determine whether Americans are to be freemen or slaves. Is life so dear or peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery? Forbid it, Almighty God. I know not what course others may take, but as for me, give me liberty, or give me death. In memory of our God, our religion, and freedom, and our peace, our wives, and our children, May God deliver us from secret combinations, and from the snares that are set to entrap our feet. Wherefore, the Lord commandeth you, when ye shall see these things come among you that ye shall awake to a sense of your awful situation, because of the secret combination which shall be among you. A secret combination that seeks to overthrow the freedom of all lands, nations, and countries is increasing its evil influence and control over America and the entire world. It is high time to awake out of sleep, suggested reading constitutional studies the declaration of independence the constitution of the united states the bill of rights first ten amendments to the u.s constitution the making of america by w clean Skusen, the national center for constitutional studies the elders of israel and the constitution by jerome horowitz communism aka social democracy and marxism the Naked Communist, by W. Kleon Skusen. Manifesto of the Communist Party, by Karl Marx and Frederick Engels. New Lies for Old The Communist Strategy of Deception and Disinformation, by Natalie Golitsyn. The Perestroika Deception Memoranda to the Central Intelligence Agency, by Natalie Golitsyn. Globalistic Capitalism and New World Order. None Dare Call It Conspiracy, by Gary Allen. Recommended by Elder Ezra Taft Benson in General Conference. The Naked Capitalist, by W. Kleon Skusen. The Shadows of Power The Council on Foreign Relations and the American Decline, by James Perloff. The Great and Abominable Church of the Devil, by H. Verlin Anderson. Our Awful Situation. Secret Combinations Above Us. Compiled by M. G. Vincent. This presentation is for educational and informational use only. Images and quotations herein are used in accordance with the Fair Use Doctrine as codified in USC 17 Section 107. The views represented in this presentation should in no way be construed as the official position of, nor endorsement by, The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints.